morning one from Melbourne, Australia after a 48 hour journey. That was insane. Woke up late, had a couple of cups of coffee. I'm good, gonna go touring and then have a lunch with an investor here in Melbourne. And then my first speaking gig is tonight. A Couple of more tomorrow. Gonna be here till Monday, Monday heading to Sydney and have a jam packed day there. And then heading back to Israel, I think Tuesday. So this is going to be a crazy couple of days, but pretty excited that I'm in Australia. Let's do this. Oh, and when I arrived in the hotel last night, I had a little something something waiting for me. I've mentioned Huawei before, but I'm not sure if I told you I work with them as an influencer, they call it key opinion leader, and I had this waiting for me. The Huawei Mate 10 Pro, probably, in fact, undeniably the top one or two smartphones on the market today. Best battery life, one of the best cameras out there. Very excited to give this thing a test and, you know, unbox it later on and have a good time with it. It's an amazing phone. Thank you, Huawei. Thank you, Walter. You the man. And now, off to see Melbourne. This guy right here. We're old friends. We never met. By the way, that's that's a sentence That's a sentence that one can say today with a straight face. Once upon a time, you would say this guy's a good friend that I've never met. You people look at you like you fell off a march. I think we've been Facebook friends for like almost two years. Yeah. I think we're like old friends. Yeah. Okay, so this guy basically arranged everything. The reason I am here in Melbourne, Australia is because of this man. Pimmy, what's your real name? Pinchas. Pinchas. I'm trying to figure out the connection between you and Pinchas in the Bible. Pinchas was a... We were both a little bit crazy. Was a warrior. Yeah. You're a warrior. A Why are you a warrior? I'm, 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 I'm feeling it here, I'm feeling it. So you're a warrior because you single-handedly built and funded, not with your own money, but with the community's money, young Chabad professionals. Chabad young professionals. Chabad young professionals. I'll get it right. By the end of the trip, I'll get it right. Chabad young professionals and the other organization is? JBN, Jewish G Business Network. Jewish, Jewish Business Network. Which we're launching now. Tonight. Which we're launching now, tonight, with me. Awesome, fantastic. Tell me a little bit about you, real quick. What's your story? So I grew up here, a couple that, doors that, away. That accent, man. You got a mixture between Australian and Brooklyn going on. It's because of your American accent. Yeah, say, that, I grew up, where, say it again, I grew up. Down the road. No, what did you say though? What was the word you said? I grew up here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, what an R. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. I left uh, to America when I was 15 to study mm -hmm. in Yeshiva. Mm -hmm. I got back here two years ago, 11 years later, with my wife and young baby, and we opened up Chabad Young Professionals. There was a gap in the community of post-university young Jewish adults. See, here's the thing. Some people see gaps in, in, in different things and, and, and itches and problems, and some people just ignore them. Some people maybe you know ask others to, to, to scratch that itch. Then there are people that, that, that get things done. Like the doers. You're a doer. You got it done. We're trying to be doers. Who's we? Try to be doers. Who's we, though? You said we, we try to be doers. Who's we? It's you. It's me, my wife, my team. It's oh, everyone. Thanks nice, to everyone. Very nice shout out to everyone. It's also all, nah, it's all well, good. My, my whole team. Like you'll see, you'll see tomorrow night, like uh, on, on Sunday night. Okay. Like the volunteers are everything. Okay. So tell me real everything. quick about these two organizations. What is it? So young Chabad, Chabad Young Professionals. Chabad Young, not Young Chabad. Chabad Young Professionals. Chabad for Young Professionals. Chabad Young Professionals. Right. We basically cater to all the social Jewish and now business needs and interests of the young adult community. Unaffiliated. Unaffiliated. So here, so let's let me just let me just maybe break this down to someone maybe perhaps who's watching and not Jewish. Let me just explain the rationale behind this, if I may. So the Jewish community has rich, I'd say, cultural and theological, religious roots. And, you know, we tend to work, you know, in a not only Jewish kind of community. And so for Chabad, I'd say around the world, their mission is to keep Judaism relevant. Is that an okay yeah. message? Make sure, you know, to show the beautiful sides of Judaism, and there are a lot of them. And, um, you know, continue to do your to good, good things for the world, but also never forget your roots and where you came from. And so you, that's what you're doing here in Melbourne, yeah. Melbourne Australia. To strengthen people's Jewish identity, their heritage. But, um, but not, not mutually exclusive to their, you know, in other words, you, we're not saying don't work, you know, it with non-Jews or don't work in the non-Jewish world. Just the opposite, to benefit them in their life in general. Love it. Okay, and so uh, what do you do? How does this matter? Ju 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 Judaism is a guide. Religion is a guide. It's not a doctrine. Oh man, it's too early in the morning for this stuff. <laughs> Way too like, oh my god, profound. What is the time is it right now? It's 10.15 in the morning, man. You need like four more cups of coffee to talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> okay, so or what do little, you do? Or a little whiskey. Um, so we arrange parties for young singles. That's parties in English, by the way. Parties, yes. Parties. Uh, for young Jewish singles in the mid to can late say, Can you 20s? say, can you put a shrimp on the barbie? Just say that for me. I've, I've always wanted to hear an Australian say that since Dumb and Dumber. The problem is the shrimp's not kosher. Just can you say it anyway? Say, put a little shrimp on the barbie. Put a cow on the barbie. Or the barbie. Right? Yes, okay. A, I just, beef, sorry, a yes. beef on the barbie. I apologize for my ADD. Or a hot dog. A hot dog. On the barbie. Yes. A hot dog. A burger. Okay, go on. Um, we do parties where young Jewish professionals meet each other. Um, a lot of them don't know each other. A lot of them are looking to marry Jewish, so they get to meet people. And also they stay engaged with their Jewish identity and the Jewish community. We also have classes where we uh, teach people 
about Jewish traditions and their their Love own it. heritage. Mm -hmm. We basically open them 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 up to themselves. Yep. Um, and now we're starting a business network where young Jews will be meeting and networking and collaborating, you know, in whatever way in Love whatever it. industries they're in, and also meeting older professionals um, for mentor opportunities and to also okay. to, to, to tap into like the older. So that's Chabad young network. professionals. Yep. And the other. That's, so, so the, the JBN is just a, a, a like extension. a sub organization okay. extension. Uh -huh. um, we just wanted to brand it separately. So and tonight's the official launch. Yeah. You brought me into the launch. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the big event on Sunday. You guys stop calling me a legend on Facebook. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm a legend. My father says, I'm a legend in my own mind. Okay, man, listen, we're going to go to Melbourne. I can sit here and, you know, interview you all day, but I think we're here to see Melbourne a little yeah. bit. And you guys got one day to do that. So let's go hang out and, and see what's up. And I did bring my drones. So hopefully get some droning done. And, um, yeah, we have this big, uh, big lunch meeting later on. And then tonight, what time? 7.30. 7.30 is the big event. All right, man, thanks for everything. Really appreciate you bringing me here and I uh, hope you get to hang out again. I mean, throughout the week and then again after. The okay, we'll show them some spots of Melbourne. I, that's like, that goes without saying. All right. <laughs> okay, morning here in Melbourne is absolutely perfect. You know what this means, right? One thing, it's time to go droning. The good news is I got some pretty great droning footage just now. The bad news is someone just came over to me and told me that not only is it illegal to drone here, which I could not find on Google, but you just got permission from the police, literally permission. He says it's a $2,000 fine, but my friend Penny over here just called the police chief of Melbourne. Is that true? Police of the area. Police of the area, okay. And he said what? As long as I'm going over the water, not over the houses. Okay, so I won't go over the houses. And the regular cops won't, won't uh, do anything else. All right. Because I can't afford a $2,000 fine right now. All right, we're going to drone some more. I'm charging up the battery, I mean the, uh, the remote control, the battery of the remote control, and uh, hopefully get some more droning, but the weather here is pretty amazing. A little, little cloudy over there. There's some boats down there, but you can't see them all the way at the end there. But uh, yeah, it's pretty beautiful. All right, man. You guys, you got hookups, so man. Just, just stay away from the houses. Stay away from the houses. Done. And he told me as long as you're, you're, you're going along the water. Water? Then... Houses. <laughs> As long as you're going over the water, water. there shouldn't be a problem. He said, if you have any, I told him, I told him, if I have any problem, like police or whatever, they tell him. I'll call you and let you know. You take care of me. He says, yeah, call me back if you have any problem. Done. Before our first meeting, a little bit of a little more, I should say, of touring Melbourne. I'm kinda loving this place, I gotta tell you. I'm kinda loving it here. I can get used to this. Pretty amazing here. Do you remember our friend Emily from I-24? So she introduced me to a family friend, Philip here, Philip Weinman, big tech investor, good family friend, good man. So we're having lunch with him in the, apparently, what is the best kosher meat restaurant in Melbourne called Lafa Bar, is that what it's called? Lafa Bar. All I wanna know is that it's meat and that there's good steak. That's all I care about, right? It's nice weather, good day, eating meat. What could be bad? We made it to downtown Melbourne. We have a couple of hours midtown here. Checking this place out. Okay, so apparently I called it Midtown. It's just a city. That's where we are. Robin, come here. Say hello. Hello. Robin. How long do we know each other for? Oh uh, my gosh. 20, 30, 25, 25, 25, 30 years, something like that. Hi, yes. Israel. Who's Israel? What do you mean? Who makes you think people in Israel? Oh, sorry. The whole world. What do you mean? I'm, I'm so happy to see Hillel Thank and Thank you Rafael. so much for hosting us and for showing us around. Oh, sure. Really appreciate it. Let's go for a walk. Let's go. So we know each other from Israel, and now she lives here in Melbourne. Yeah, we uh, reconnected on Instagram, I should say, right? I guess, yeah. kind of. Re yes, yes, reconnected. <laughs> Walk by. Oh. Oh. Yeah, cause I said.
Jewish Business Network here in Melbourne begins in one hour. My understanding is there is a sweet ride coming to pick me up. Let's go find out. This guy picked me up. Who are you, man? Danny Louie. How are you? First of all, man, I love the accent. I'm telling you. You've been hearing it all day. I know that. Australian. But I, love the accent. I love it. I love it. <laughs> nice wheels back there. Woo! So what do you do? Real, real quick. What do you do? So I'm a pharmacist working in the pharmaceutical industry. And I said to him, if, if a, how old are you? Can we talk about it? 27. Yeah, yeah. 27 year old farmer, farmer guy is driving around in a C2. 50. Then I should, uh, I'm in the wrong field. That's all I'm it's saying. Okay, it's okay. Thank you for picking me up. I appreciate pleasure, it. Pleasure. All right. So we're, we're a little bit early. Are we going in here? Where are we going? I think it's all angels just walk by. So I've had some important people come to speaking events of mine in the past, but this is a first. Hilary Swank, the one and only. Oh my gosh, look at that. Not really, but can you show me that picture again? That, that side by side? That's not really Hilary Swank, but she looks exactly like her. It's kind of scary. And she has a side by side picture where you see just how much they look alike, and it's nuts. So, which one? That's Hilary Swank, and that's you. Yeah. Holy hell, that is nuts. So, I should give really? Hollywood a call and be like. You, like, not even home with your face. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. That is nuts. That is crazy, wow. How crazy is that? People starting to show up. I'm expecting 50 to 60 people tonight, and uh, it's beginning. La donna è mobile, crende l'ariato, cartenem. attraction of the night, which is not the sushi and drinks, although it's pretty good. We had the great privilege many months ago, and Hillel can testify for this. I had this idea of being friends with uh, Hillel and a bit, a bit of a follower, as well as that, of following Hillel and what, what he's doing in Israel for about a year and a half. And many months ago I had this idea, you know what, this guy's cool. I want to bring him down to the Melbourne. Let's make something happen. I set a date, to be brutally honest. <laughs> I set a date a couple months ago, the target date, we we're gonna bring it all down, it was November, right? We tried doing it, we tried raising the funds. I was, as usual, ambitious. That time I was a little bit too ambitious, which is okay. And it didn't work out at that time, but it's happened now. So we're very excited to uh, welcome Hilo and his wife Rachelle to Australia for the first time, right? A warm welcome from uh, the Australian Jews. Hello is uh, one of Israel's tech gurus. He's a strategic advisor to uh, many of the biggest tech companies in Israel. And I guess we'll maybe talk about what he does a little more. I'll give a fall to Hillel. Uh, following Hillel's speech, there'll be question and answer. And you can throw whatever you got at Hillel, because he has the balls to take it. <laughs> that was my video. <laughs> Greatest intro ever, by the way. Greatest. Short and sweet. Love it. Gig in, in Melbourne, Australia, over. How was it, dude? Incredible. Mind blowing. Come on, tell me the truth. Mind blowing. All right, cool. Just making sure. Yeah, it went well. Uh, well received, and I am. What time is it right now? It's 11 o'clock at night. My next talk is at 9 a.m. I don't even know what day it is. See you tomorrow. <laughs> 